Hello everyone, this is your girl Camille. I want to say thank you so much for being here. I'm just giving you some flashback here. On June 26, that was last Sunday, uh, we had an amazing, amazing Woman of Color Business Expo. As the name suggests, this was all women and we had our tables, our booth set up in my beautiful friend Wendy, her backyard. She was the main organizer there. She is walking around my table, looking at some of my displays. And I gotta say this event was our first of many and it was a great success. And I have to say thank you, Wendy, for you know believing in us and, and, and allowing us to put our work out there, you know, among our people. And this is what today's video is all about. Yesterday, I posted a video um, about the American American dream. And today, I want to highlight about Jamaica because a good friend of mine also asked me, what about the Jamaican dream? We'll get to that. All right, so here I am just displaying my work and showing you what um, I had displayed for this Business Expo event. And like I mentioned, guys, other ladies had their table set up, their booth set up displaying you know their crafts and just their beautiful work as you can see i had a lot of jamaican work um you know art displaying and this is because jamaica's 60th independence is coming up august the 6th all right and i'm trying to get this out to get to my jamaicans you know to stand up be proud grab your art grab it you know what make this a piece of your home I do love the details and all of these beautiful pieces that you see here, guys. And remember, this is a fluid art, okay? Like this butterfly here was done by, um, painted by using the chain uh, to make this beautiful creation here. So no paintbrush was used. This flag was done by using the blow dryer and I do love it. I do love my Jamaican colors and I do love the details in here. All right. With uttermost respect and gratitude, thank you so much for the special award, Wendy. I'm humbly grateful and I'm looking forward to the next event. Thank you. In today's video, I will be using the Jamaican colors to create this beautiful Dutch pour bloom spin art. And I'm loving it. I love those cells, guys. Can you see those beautiful cells? Do check out today's video, guys. You're going to love it. Hello again everyone, I am back to create this beautiful masterpiece that I showed you earlier and I do hope that you guys are excited and you know watch me working with these beautiful colors and yes, these are the colors of the Jamaican flag, okay, black, green and gold and uh, I did add gold but on our flag it's actually yellow but it's all the beautiful colors combining to create this beautiful masterpiece. I gotta say, I love working with a black base. Isn't it amazing? I don't really show my face on video here, but you do see my reflection and you can tell that I'm the one who's painting, right? <laughs> I'm just making jokes, but yeah, guys, I am super excited about today's uh, video and I gotta give a shout out to Laurie, Holly, and Nate, who is a part of today's premiere today's um tuesday night premiere it's our weekly tuesday night premiere and i'm so happy to be working with these three and you know we make a perfect team guys and you know what i appreciate it and i love you and i want to say thank you holly for bringing me a part of um, this group and guys if you had missed laurie she had went on before me go ahead and check her out i will list all the participants in today's collaboration today's premiere today's tuesday night train in the description box below so do go ahead and check them out nate i think nate is coming up after me um but yes guys do check them out i will list them all in the description box below and yeah super excited about today's video you know what guys someone had asked me about the jamaican dream because yesterday was july the 4th and so I did a painting reflecting on, you know, the, the American dream. And really and truly, guys, the American dream is for all of us, whether we live in America or not. You know what? You know why I said that? It's because we are all hoping and we are all aspiring. We are all 
working towards that greater good you know we want this is all we, we have we all have our, our dreams and we all wish and hope that one day we'll get to live that dream you know I know that back in the days you know um, you know dreams weren't attainable by everyone you know we all didn't have the same privilege and as time goes by guys I have to say that you know what it has changed and now the opportunity is there for all of us to you know get that get that what we hope for you know what you know what I mean so don't don't limit yourself don't say you know what it's not for me oh my gosh you know it's it's not for me no guys honestly get up and go get it you have to be a go-getter that's what the american dream is all about you can't be lazy you can't um feel sorry for yourself you have to get up and try that's that's what it is you have to work for it you have to work to get your dream dream yes but then you have to work to get that reward you can't just be dreaming and not work on it you have to work on it guys you have to put in work so it's for everyone all right and i'm just happy to be here to remind you that it's for everyone all right so is this a time that i tell you guys about camille about camilla moy about camilla moy edwards yeah i think i will tell you guys a little bit about myself <laughs> so as you guys all know that my background is jamaican and i do live here in canada and you know what i have to tell you guys about the jamaican dream but you know what before i get into my dream let's talk about christmas in july Woohoo! christmas in july is coming for another second crossover event and you know what this year is going to be bigger and better 25 amazing artists showcasing their talent you know artists from different um you know different medias we'll be having people who are doing you know drawings people who are painting with the paintbrushes and of course us fluid artists it's going to be a three-day event starting on saturday july 23rd sunday july 24th and monday july 25th guys mark your calendars and i do hope to see you all here and we're gonna have a grand time remember it's all about the beach it's all about the sun it's all about the warm weather and you know what that's what jamaica christmas is all about right so check it out guys i do hope you you, you know you'll come back and have some fun with us on our three-day collaboration see you thank you yes guys as i was saying about the jamaican dream okay the jamaican dream really in my point of view really means that you should remember where you're coming from you should be grateful you should be appreciative you know what gratitude is what gonna bring you to the, the, the to live the american dream pretty much that's what it is and why i said I'm telling you guys about the Jamaican dream before I tell you a little bit about myself is because you know um, like I mentioned Jamaica is the land of my birth okay I migrated to Canada I'm now living in Canada and the journey has always been a struggle all right it's been a struggle but and I mean that's my journey Camille's journey and um, but what it's a lesson I'll keep learning as I go all right and I keep remembering where I'm coming from because when I remember where I'm coming from it pushes me to look forward to where I'm going right and when you when you when you go through the struggles in life guys when you go through the struggles trust me when you get the good when you get something and something that means something to you it means the world you really you appreciate it you're like oh my gosh you know ah, this this feels so good and there's no way you would have known what feels good if you hadn't gone through the struggles so 
I'm, I've lived the Jamaican dream. I'm happy to be a Jamaican. And I want all my Jamaicans out there to be grateful. I remember where I come from. Listen, I'm going to talk in Patwa, people. All right, here, here. You want to hear some Patwa? Remember where I come from. Remember where I come from, people. All right? Because it's hard and it's tough. And in order for you to move forward and in, in order for you to live that American dream, you have to remember where you come from. And at the end of the day, you can't be bad man. Because bad man now can get you nowhere. And that's where the problem is back home in Jamaica. I do hope I'll get to caption this. <laughs> because I know a lot of my... Um, my viewers who watch my channel, they're not Jamaicans. And they're like, come here. Um, I listen, I'm from, I, I, I speak Spanish. I don't want to know what you're saying. I'm sorry, guys. I get carried away. But I, I hope when I get to, um, I get to caption this for you, okay? But, uh, you know, the struggles is what make me who I am today. All right? I I never come from a home where I had all the privilege, you know, like how my kids are today. They're so privileged. I tell them all the time. <laughs> but listen, I came from a home where my parents, they're poor. Okay. And I say that proudly because like I mentioned, you have to remember where I come from, you know, because I, that makes me into who I am today. All right. So my parents, they weren't wealthy. And we grew up in the rural part of Jamaica, okay, the beautiful parish of St. Elizabeth, okay. And um, I went to a boarding school, high school. I went to an all-girls boarding school, okay. And my parents, being the proud people that they are, so happy, so grateful for them. Thank you. See, you guys, what I mentioned, you have to remember where you're coming from they had to put out the extra effort in order to send me off to boarding school, you know, to, to go mix with kids who are so privileged and spoiled. <laughs> but, you know, I went there anyways and I, and I did my years and it was, a, it, was a, it was a good journey. It was a good journey and so appreciative. And, you know, I did art. In high school as well and made, made, made you know made some amazing friends who I am with friends up to this day we're still friends beautiful people beautiful successful people you know friends who became doctors and lawyers and the list goes on and Camille was amongst those beautiful kind-hearted soul okay so just imagine you know Camille, little Camille growing up not even having a clue, you know, what's going to be in store for her. It's a journey. And I'm grateful. Thank you to the Almighty, you know, and to my parents and to my siblings. Did I mention that I'm the baby in the family, that I'm the last child, that I'm the wash belly? In Jamaica, we say wash belly, okay? So, yes, I'm that baby. And, um, yeah. And just... That this painting that I'm looking at right now, and I know you guys are saying, Camille, be quiet because we're trying to watch this. But no, I want to tell you my story, and I want to tell you my story while you're watching the beautiful painting unfold. This beautiful color, all the cells, all the beautiful, um, with the feathery look that I'm looking at right now. It's just amazing, and that's all me, and that's all Jamaica, and that's all of us. You know, guys, I'm a part of you and you are part of me. Okay. Remember that too. Okay. If you, if this wasn't, if you'd never known or if you never knew about this, remember the guys that, you know what, uh, we're all connected somehow. Okay. And Camille was supposed to mention that today that we're all connected. And you know what's funny? I'm painting on a circle. This is a circular canvas. And you know what a circle represents, right? I won't even mention it. You guys go research and let me know. Tell me in your own words. Tell me in the comment section below what a circle represents in your life. Okay, so <laughs> I'm so excited. But um, yeah, that's just my story right there, guys. Uh, you know, the Jamaican dream is really to remember, you know, where you're coming from. Remember, remember your roots. 
remember that as a Jamaican, being born in Jamaica, okay, our roots really come from Africa, guys. Remember that. And also remember that it's a journey. It's a struggle. And, you know, we are, I won't even get into it. It's history. But remember, guys, just remember if you're a Jamaican and you're watching this, the Jamaican dream is really to remember your struggles. Remember where you're coming from. Don't ever forget, guys. If you have to remember because it will show gratitude and, and, and love and appreciation the moment you remember where you're coming from, you will be a better person. I'm telling you, I promise you, <laughs> you will be, okay? Because you just can't grow up and be selfish. Yes, self-love is different from being selfish, you know? And self-love is something that you have to learn as well. And once you love yourself, guys, you will turn around and love everyone, and love will have a different meaning, okay? I'm, I don't even want to get emotional. I'm talking and I'm getting emotional. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, guys, um, self-love is very important. And, you know, self-love will make you appreciate you. And it will make you be more confident. And it will make you strive. All right. Let me don't talk now, guys. Talking again in Jamaican. Here it is, a close-up <laughs> of the wet result. And I'm just amazed. And it's just beautiful. The beautiful cells, the beautiful colors, the gold in this is just amazing. And oh, I didn't mention the paint that I use. But I can tell you quickly that they're all deco art, except for the green. The green is um, Artist Love Emerald Green. The gold is was a um, 24 karat gold by Deco Art. The yellow is a neon, I use two yellow, neon yellow and a bright yellow by Deco Art. And I also use a neon green in this. Uh, the black pour over was also my artist loved. And you guys know that this is my ingredients from mixing my pearl cells to create this beautiful effect. You know, the Dutch pour uh, consistency really, it's, it should be really thin. But as you guys can see, my paint was a bit thicker. Um, I don't know if it's based on the, 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 blow, the blow dryer. Maybe it's very good. It's powerful. It's a 2200 watt blow dryer that I used as well. So it's a, it's a combination of uh, factors that create this beautiful piece, guys. And remember, to create beautiful cells, you do not need silicone oils. Remember, guys, it's all about the paint, okay? All about the paint all about density in the paint and how it blends and mix with each other to create this beautiful effect follow me guys on Instagram follow me here on YouTube don't forget to subscribe and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified each time I post a new video I'm so happy to be able to share this with you and don't go away guys the dried result is coming up I know People might still think and say that, you know what, Camille, you're wrong for talking about the Jamaican dream being this and being that, or the American dream means this and mean that, and that we all don't have the same um, equal opportunity. Um, yeah, you know what, you're right. Some people are more privileged, right? But as I mentioned, that your dream is different from mine. Your dream might, your, your dream might, uh, might means that, you know, I want to win you know, $10 million where my dream might just be like, you know, I just want a million dollars. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it's different. It's different. We all, we're all different and, um, we have different dreams and, you know, I'm just so excited to be able to share this with you. And you know what guys, remember to love yourself. That's most important. Okay. And I will stress on that because at the end of the day, guys, you can't go around walking around and feeling sorry for yourself. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. <laughs> Here it is, the dried result, and I am loving it. Um, what can I say about this piece? Can you guys see the bird in there? I call it my freedom bird. Can you see it right there, that little green bird? I'm, I am highlighting it. It's right there. It's right there. It's coming. It's coming. Can you see it? It appears. My daughter, she's going to be 12, coming up soon. And you know what she said to me, Mommy, when I saw the bird, and I said, can you see the bird? She's like, do you do your paintings and when it's dried, hoping to see something in it? Because every time I see something in it, I call her and I say, look, look, look. She's like, mommy, 
do you do your paintings to see something in it because obviously guys this is abstract art and i'm not drawing i'm painting something um realistic so when i do see an image in it i'm like wow you know so anyways i don't want to keep going on and on and on and on but i have to remember and i have to tell you guys that it's a tuesday it's, this video is a part of a tuesday night premiere and i think tonight nate is coming up next and i will list his channel name in the description box below and i'm so happy and so grateful that you guys could watch all the way to the end to the dried beautiful result so beautiful so happy that you guys come by and stick around with me all the way to the end and you know i will see you guys next time on camila moy art love you bye